New tonight at 5 as artificial intelligence learns more about us. CU Boulder students are going to be learning more about AI. Yeah, one of the first dedicated master's degree programs to the field will start this fall. Your Boulder County reporter Sarah Horbakowitz is going to show us more. If you open up ChatGPT, you can ask it just about anything, including how to write a news story. Still, there are some obvious pitfalls to AI, not just my job security, but also things like deep fakes, misinformation, and even environmental concerns. All of that is just some of the syllabus in a new AI master's degree program at CU. You've probably heard that term about whether these systems are going to get smarter than we are and what will happen with that. And do you have the answers to those questions? Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> Professor and computer science expert Bobby Schnabel does have some answers, like teaching students how to build and regulate that sci-fi technology. What can you do uh, to have better privacy in, uh, in getting the data from AI? Or how can you avoid the algorithmic bias? When you're developing a product, you need to think about the ethical implications from the start. Artificial intelligence itself started from that network engineering or building the computers behind the search. In the lab, you're going to see uh, several handheld devices that are basically used to train our students on a daily basis. Among other things, Jose Santos teaches students how these loud machines work. As he says, they make up the biggest university lab of its kind in the country. We need a balance between theoretical knowledge, the principles of how things work, along with the implementation, the deployment. And the demand to learn how this works is skyrocketing. The online platform CU will use for its first semester of AI, Coursera, reports 3 million students enrolling in AI-related courses last year. That's just about a student every 10 seconds. Over the years, we have become faster and better, but we still follow very, very established rules about uh, how to interconnect a user to the rest of the world. Something students are already learning. Connecting people, making that software work so they can see it on their phone. That's what we do. What the Army uses and what we're using here to program and learn on is, is still much of the same routers and switches. And this fall, CU expects dozens of students like them to focus their studies on machine learning. It's a field where courses have to change every year and uh, it's both the fun of it and the challenge of it. Applications are expected to open soon with an online course starting this fall and an in-person option starting next year. Sarah Horbakowitz covering Colorado first. Sarah covers the stories impacting Boulder and Broomfield counties for you. So if you want her to check out any stories that you're interested in, please reach out to her through CBSColorado.com.